Hi guys, my name is Hannah from hannahsmilitary.com and we decided to film a series of videos primarily focusing on the various types and uses of World War II German communications and signals equipment. Most of our videos will feature our own equipment, but we will cite sources and contributors as needed. This first video is going to show the basic operation of the FF-33 field phone. FF stands for Feldfernsprecher or field phone in German, and 1933 is the year this model phone was designed. Here we have both a very early 1934 dated phone and a mid-war 1941 dated phone. FF-33 field phones were meant to be used in all weather conditions. When you open this up, you see that the headset sits on top. If you had to use this phone in adverse conditions, you would take the headset out, run the cord along this side of the case where both the top and the bottom of the lid have a rubber seal, and then close it, shutting the lid, and the internals are now safely protected for all weather use. Each phone was also issued with a connector cable. These connector cables were stored next to where the speaker on the handset sat, and they were basically universal to all wartime German comms equipment. They were used to connect phones together and to be able to directly connect more than just two phones without a switchboard. Each phone was also issued with a carrying strap. This is an early war leather strap, and this is a webbed strap. All of the straps had a hook. The hook was meant to hang the headset while you were carrying the phone and using it. Now, if you weren't in a position to use this or it wasn't practical, each handset had three little raised marks that would allow you to hang the handset over the case of the phone without depressing and engaging the leather. Opening the phone back up, you'll see that again where the speaker rests is where the battery compartment is. Original batteries like these were 1.5 volts and there are plenty of reproduction batteries on the market as you can see, it's pretty similar. Um, but you don't need this. All you need is a D-cell battery and a 75 cent adapter off of Amazon and it'll function just the same as it would with these reproduction boxes. All you need to do is take the battery, screw it into the connectors in here, screw them down, close the lid, and you have a fully powered phone. At the top, there are two holes that don't have an apparent use. Well, what they're for is, let's say an NCO or an officer wanted to listen in on a call, that was to plug in an additional headset. They would take the headset with a connector on like this, plug it in, and they could now listen to the phone operator without interrupting or plugging in a whole separate phone line. Now, to set up the phone to be used, there are two different ways. The first way is with the terminals at the top. One is marked LA and one is marked LB slash E. For the sake of the video and any simple setup using only two wires, it doesn't matter which terminal you use or if you switch them over. The opposite of if you were jump starting a car. Let's say you're gonna, I'm gonna take this yellow alligator clip and plug it into LA and the white alligator clip and plug it into LB. I could reverse it on the other side and it wouldn't affect the functionality of the phone. The second way to connect to these phones is with the cord patch connector, which same as at the top can be connected into either female terminal on the front of the phone. It doesn't matter if you use the top or the bottom, they are interchangeable. Now that these phones are connected, you can pick up the headset, depress the lever, and the person on the other end of the phone will be able to hear you talking. However, the way to call the other phone is with the handle on the side of the phone. The handle is stored in the top of the phone. You take it out, and you rotate it into the side clockwise, and then as you rotate the lever, you activate the ringer on the other phone and alert the other line that a call is incoming. In future videos, I will review how to test an FF33 phone and troubleshoot common issues that come up as these phones are put into use. 
I'll be posting a link to the Amazon battery holders in the comments below and look forward to hearing about any equipment or accessories you would like to see covered in future videos. Thank you for joining me.